As a team, the Milwaukee Brewers unanimously decided today not to play our baseball game um, due to continued issues that we've seen with uh, racial injustice and, and uh, social oppression. Um, obviously, with what's happened uh, in Kenosha, it hits close to home. It's something that continues to be deeply disturbing and disheartening to all of us. Um, we had a, a team meeting, and, and as a group, we continue to have conversations about uh, what we can do and how we can use our platform um, to continue to try to elicit change as we recognize that there are still significant issues in our country. Um, and we made the, the decision today that the, the most impactful thing we could do was not play our baseball game, um, to not distract from what's going on in the country. Um, we felt like baseball was insignificant relative uh, to the issues that we all continue to see and that, that we are disturbed by. You know, we talk about the beginning of summer camp, um, what these shirts mean and, and the shirts that we've been wearing throughout the year. And there comes a time where, where you have to live it. You have to step up. You can't just wear these shirts and, and think that's all well and good. And then when it comes time to, to act on it or make a stand or make a statement, um, you can't just not do it. And that's what you saw here today is us coming together collectively as a group, um, making a stand, making a statement uh, for change, for, for making the world a better place, for equality, for doing the right thing. And, and we did that as a group. It was a unanimous vote. Um, everybody was in favor of, of, of not playing and sending a message and, and a statement. I think they did a courageous thing. Um, you know, I look, first of all, I, what, what the Bucks did, what the NBA players have done. Um, they've, they've certainly been leaders in this area, but, but our players did a courageous thing in major league baseball. Um, they went first. Um, I'm proud of them for that. And, um, you know, it, it, they had a, a very good conversation about it, an important conversation, um, a meaningful one, and uh, they chose to act. And we, we, I talked about this the other day. Um, you know, they, they chose to act. And they said, like, you know, I think that what they're saying is, um, if not now, when are we going to act? Um, we've worn T-shirts. Um, we've had conversations. This was a chance for some action, um, and, and they decided to take it, and I'm proud of them for it. Um, sure enough, these last four months, just like everybody else, have been my eyes have been wide open um, to just how we need to be treating each other. Um, we need to treat each other better. Uh, it's not about how people look. It's not about uh, how big they are, what color they are. It's, it's about loving other human beings like you love yourself and um, wanting, wanting the best for other people. Uh, I think that's, that's what gets lost in our kind of today's day and age about love is it's not this goody, like feely good emotion. It's about genuinely caring about others more than yourself. And until we are closer to that point, I don't think we're going to be able to get this, this systemic oppression um, under control. We need to really, everyone needs to look in the mirror and say, how can I be a better human being to my fellow man and woman um, every day of our lives? So.